All right, so now that your new TM305 machine is powered on, the first thing you wanna do is put an IP address in it. So at the screen, you'll hit the little gear icon in the bottom left, and we are connecting with a wired LAN. Now we will go settings, advanced, TCP IP settings, IPv4, yes, IP address, and it's going to be set on auto. We want to choose manual. This would be where you put your IP address of the printer in. And when you hit OK, now you want to put your subnet mask in. And you hit OK. And then the default gateway, you also want to put in. You hit OK. Now that the printer has an IP address, we'll go back home. Now it's time to load paper in the machine. The spindle pulls out. And on the left-hand side, you have this blue lever. Flip it up, left-hand side comes off. You'll take your roll of paper, so it's coming over the top of the roll. Make sure it's pushed in the spindle all the way. Left-hand side, pushed in all the way. Flip the blue lever down to lock it in place. Slide the spindle back in place. And now you're gonna take the paper and there's a slot in the back of the machine and you are going to feed it in until you hit a backstop. Now hold it there until the machine grabs it. The machine's gonna ask you what kind of paper. I'm loading just regular plain paper. All right, so now the machine's loaded with 24 inch plain paper, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, with a new roll, if you have the stickers on it, say you ripped the paper getting it off, you can choose feed and cut and press and hold advance. And you can feed out as much paper as you would like out of the front of the machine. And once the ripped paper is through, choose cut paper and then yes and it will cut the excess paper off inks so your brand new tm305 these two black covers pull open your three colors are going to be on your right. Your two blacks will be on the left, your matte black and your photo black. When it comes time to replace your ink, the machine will give you a notice. You open the respective cover, push the blue tab in and lift up, pull your old ink out, and your new ink you'll put in so that the letter on top for the color is legible and it is not upside down. Close, lock it back in place. And when you close the covers, it will tell you the ink that you put in, and you simply hit OK. After that, you have the basket. The basket has three settings. It has your typical fall in the bottom of the basket, fine for one or two pages. It has a bar that pulls up and sits in the cradle. This will be for your longer prints, so your Architect E's, your Architect E1's, your 3042's or 3648's. And then you have a gray handle here that pulls up and it swings down and these four black tabs flip open and this would be for your half sizes, your 1824s or your 2436s or your respective ANSI sizes that come out of the machine landscape. 